Hello friends and welcome back to Mediterranean Palette. And today I wanted to introduce to you this incredible dish. a nice delicate flavor of garlics inside the pot. I also rinsed the garlic head and I brushed the stem area with a brush to get rid of all the dirt. So this is how the garlic head looks and this is how we're gonna throw it in the pot and don't worry about all the rest we are going to use it for the savory wheat. Let's do the same with the second garlic head and I want you to really look and see this is how much I'm cutting from the garlic. The rest of it will be used for the wheat but the garlic head this is how it looks. And of course make sure to brush the stem of the garlic to get rid of all the dirt that it usually has. Now I'm adding about one pound of beef for stew and I make sure that it's cubed. I'm also adding a small chicken that I cut to eight pieces. Next, I'm adding to the pot a half teaspoon turmeric, one teaspoon salt, a half teaspoon black pepper, and I'm gonna give it a nice mix to make sure that all spices are mixed. I'm also adding a quarter cup vegetable oil, And now I can transfer our sweet and spicy meat log or meat patty to the deep pot. Poke the meat log with a fork to let steam in during the long cooking. Now let's add the soup bones. And we'll add the cubed beef. The chicken pieces can go in at this point and we have about eight chicken pieces and two garlic heads facing the sliced side down. I'm gonna add small potatoes and I'm adding two large sweet potatoes. Now I'm going to chop the rest of the garlics. I'm adding some of them to the big pot and most of them I'm adding to the small pot and to that I'm adding three tablespoons of vegetable oil and I'm going to cook it for two minutes but not more than that. Let's add one teaspoon paprika
one teaspoon salt, and I'm adding one pound of whole wheat seeds. Let's give it a good mix now. To that, we're adding one teaspoon cumin, and two teaspoons of homemade harissa and you can decide whether you would like it spicy or not. Mix really well and cook while mixing seven to ten minutes. We need a second oven bag and we are going to transfer all the wheat mixture to an oven bag and to that we're adding two cups of chicken stock. Now I'm rolling the bag to make sure that it's closed during the long cooking and I am tying the two nuts with a string. We want to create a lot of steams in the oven bag so that the wheat can cook and becomes really soft. Now it's time to transfer the wheat bag to the pot as well. I am now adding the eggs and the eggs I am adding one pair a guest. Now I'm ready to transfer the pot to the stove. I will bring it to a boil, then reduce to medium and cook for two hours covered. Then we will reduce the heat to between simmer to warm and cook covered well for overnight for anywhere between 12 to 18 hours. And here is a picture for you for the exact amount of heat that the pot will have for the long, long cooking. Also carefully cover the pot with four kitchen towels to create more heat. That's it, my friends. Your hard work is done and you are going to enjoy amazing, incredible dish from the good old world of Moroccan cooking. This is also the time to say thank you so much for joining me. Please give this video thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to receive three amazing videos every single week. This good old childhood food is very close to my heart and I made it as a mission to preserve it for generations to come. The flavors are delicious. The dish, as you can see, contains everything that's in the food pyramid, from vegetables to grains and protein. And I would love to know if you made it and how it came out. Thank you again.